from there we can jump into location. Yeah, arguably one of the most important things um, in making this work at all. Uh, like, for instance, like I said, I'm in an apartment. I've got a three-year-old running around all the time. So, oh, and there's a great example. Did, that little truck. You can hear that? I, or yeah, is that on your it. end? I don't know. Or is that on my end? I think, I think it's it was gone on my now. End, it was relatively quiet. Yeah, they've, just, yeah. they've started construction on my street. <laughs> like this week. So, yeah, that's, that's one big thing to consider, actually, is... You know, whether you have loud neighbors and you need to shut the windows or move to a different part of the house, whether you got family who you you're all stuck in isolation together. How are you I how are you going to isolate your sound and your video from those people um, that you share your space with, whether it's big trucks or neighbors or family? Um, that's arguably what's going to make or break. You, you don't want to end you know. up like the guy on the BBC where uh, his three year old daughter comes strolling oh. in the door. <laughs> and then the wife tries to subtly pull her out and uh you can clearly see it all and then you end up going viral for all the wrong reasons yeah that that was kind of hilarious actually on a on a funny note it's interesting to see all the behind the scenes that these news anchors and weather weathermen are doing because they're at home they they sent a crew to set drop off the gear and set it up and then the anchors are just hitting record uh when it's time for them to go live yeah. So they're remote you know what? Streaming. Actually, I saw a discussion about this with some of our, our colleagues, um, mm -hmm. other other people in our industry around the world. And somebody was making a note that the Oprah Winfrey's team has basically set her up using a MacBook. Right. Oh, like, I didn't hear like this even, one. Yeah. You see even, um, you know, some of the late night hosts and stuff, the setups that they're using are essentially the same things that the average person has access to. Okay. Um, I now, I guess there's some debate whether they are doing that on purpose to make it look like it's more authentic when, because they easily could have a higher quality production because they will cut from a, a MacBook to a broadcast camera shot looking uh -huh. at Oprah and then cut back to the MacBook. I I haven't seen the clip. This is what somebody oh. was saying, but yeah, yeah, like so again, just sort of reiterating, it's. As long as people can see and hear you clearly, it's fine. If, if it's good enough, Oprah is probably good enough for you. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, back to the location thing, you know, for me in this particular room, it I had to choose uh, whether to set up my own lights or to use the window light um, simply because. Like, for instance, in my area, my apartment here, the light changes drastically at this time of day. So that would have been not good for what I wanted to show yeah. on stream Yeah, well, that's a good point because I started this using pretty much natural light in here and then I've since put up more lights because the, the sun <laughs> moved. It's still perfectly blue sky outside, but the sun moved and so it became darker in here. So whenever Should have just done my version and blocked block out it, the sun yeah. <laughs> So whenever you rely on natural light, it's going to change. It's going to move. So it may start out being perfect, but over the day or, or even very quickly if a cloud comes out, uh, you may become very dark. Um, exactly. So, yeah, the, the smart thing to do, if you don't do as I say, not as I do, is just don't <laughs> rely on natural light at all and um, shut, shut the blinds, you know, close them, close them up and, and either just rely on the, the light that you have in a room or pick up some uh, inexpensive LED lighting um, yeah. if that's needed. Well, and even just using household appliances, like if you've got like most of my lighting here is actually office Ikea, you know, those those little desk lamps that are on suspended arms. I'm just using those with a pair of hundred watt equivalent LEDs mm. um, for my two of my lights here. The only LED panel is this one that I don't have a spot for. Um, but also this diminishing returns again. It depends on how long are you going to be on air for? If you're going to be on air for five minutes yeah. um, or if your camera is not the presenter camera, you know, there's someone else who's, main on camera yeah then it doesn't matter so much just choose a nice bright room a living room with indirect light try to stay out of direct light like the sun you know what you. that reminded me because we were on stream and one of the presenters uh he was sitting right in front of the window which is what you're supposed to do but we were on yeah. there for over 10 hours and so at one point <laughs> the the sun was coming in in a beam and just hitting him and just slowly moving 
across him. And so he was overexposed. His background's totally dark because the camera's automatically adjusting. Yeah. Right. And he's not paying attention to this. He's engaged with, with what's going on in the, in the interview, obviously. Right. Um, yeah. No, I mean, it, it, it's fine. It's whatever. But if the goal is to make it as good as it can be, the better thing would have been close those windows so that you don't have that happen in the first place. A hundred percent. Usually the windows are worst. That there are worst nightmare on a lot of these locations. When we go to an event location, they got these giant ceiling high windows. And yeah, like, people oh, go, oh, it's yeah. great. It's got these nice big windows. It's going to look amazing. And we go, oh, no, <laughs> no, no. Just shut the windows and give us some stage lights. That's yeah. all we want. Well, yeah. So even so, if if you don't have a choice, let's just say if people don't have a choice that they're going to sure. be in daylight, you, let's say they've got a really big, fancy apartment and they don't, don't even have blinds set up on their yeah. windows. They got this big open concept. Just Take put up some sheet. lights. Yeah, well, you could do that. I would say just put up some lights as well so that if the light does yeah. change, you at least have a baseline, right? Like that, you can default back to it's going to be at least this bright whether or not the room is filled with daylight. Exactly. Like you can even just grab a floor lamp that's nearby, like any floor lamps that are nearby and stick them on whatever side the sun would be coming in on. And it would accomplish exactly what you're talking mm -hmm. about where the sun disappears. Well, at least you have that minimum yeah. Light. So uh, the most important thing to know when dealing with light is just to make sure that it's always in front of you in this in, in situation <laughs> yes. because we're dealing with cameras that are automatically adjusting. So yeah. if the light is behind you, the camera is going to automatically adjust to the bright behind you, making you nice and dark so that we can see out the window. What you want to do is have the background ideally darker so that the foreground with you is the brightest spot and so then the camera can automatically adjust for that totally well and also on location here like the lighting as long as it's in front of you and as long as it's not changing a lot you can get away with a lot you know i did my lighting this way because i just i i like making films you know right. it's in my it's in my dna i i i can't just do a boring lighting setup